<laughs> Welcome back to season three. We're driving around in the BM at the moment, so we thought we'd give you an introduction. This is our new three litre twin turbo diesel baby. Uh, got a lot of power and we've got quite a few mods planned for it already. So today we've got the first set of mods and the first video for you guys. Chubba, what are we doing? Well, for a start, we're doing all the interior lights, such as vanity lights, footwells, and the lightings for the doors. What else we've got? We've got the angel, angel eye kit for the front and the number plate lights for the rear. Sweet, so that's what we're doing this time, guys. To change the interior LEDs, we've got every every LED we're going to need, every correct SMD LED. There's 18 in total for the interior, plus the glove box and the boot. We're going to do the number plate lights, we're going to change the angel eyes, and to do this, we're just going to need some screwdrivers. To gain access to the H8 bulb, which is down there for the angel rings, you need to press that lug there, and that lug there, and this cover can come out, and you can get access to the bulb. Now the cover's off and out of the way, you can go ahead and grab the H8 ball, it spins clockwise, which then undoes it from the mount and you can take the ball out like so. All you need to do now is just undo the two clips either side of the bulb and that bulb will be disconnected and it's time to connect your new one. That is the bulb there, it just pushes in and spins back in place, but it's a little tight so it might take a little time. Okay, the last thing to do on these is just connect them up. Make sure your power goes to the power and earth goes to earth. And took everything in there nice and neat and away from any hot sources. And let's put the cover on. Now the car's looking sweet. We're gonna move inside the car. We're gonna take out the old bulbs, put in some new SMDs, and we're gonna start off by doing the sun visor lights. They're the ones that turn on when you pull down the visor. All you need to do with these is pull them out of the roof, take out the old bulb, put in the new bulb and refit it. Thing is with the SMD bulbs, you need to make sure they're going the right way because they will only work one way because they are polarized. So if you don't light up at first, just swap it round and then refit it and then pop it back in. glove box light comes out with a screwdriver, same again, just pop your bulb in, make sure it's the right way around and refit it. Well, lights are nice and easy to do. Same again with the screwdriver. You might struggle getting access to it, but just bear with it. Pop it out with the screwdriver, swap the bulb, bang it in, you know it now. Just make sure it's the right way around. To get the roof dome out, there are two metal pressure prong clips right near the windscreen on the actual unit itself. If you press them, then this little unit comes down. It was a little bit fiddly, but it's now loose and will come out of the roof like that, so we can get access to our bulbs. These are the three bulbs on the back. You've got your map light, your map light, and the interior vanity light. And they just twist out, and you can pop your new bulb in. Stick it back in the hole and reconnect it. Don't forget with the new ones, they are uh, polarised, so you have to make sure they're going the right way because they might not turn on. So give them a quick check. As long as they work, you can put it back in the roof. That's all the three bulbs on. We took our frosted lens off just to see how the inside was, but there's no need to at all, as long as you pull it down from the back. So 
we're just going to pop our frosted ends back on and put it back in the roof. We're now changing the lights in the bottom of the doors, also known as puddle lights. These are nice and easy to do, just like the glove box. Just pop the screwdriver in, pull it out, change the bulb, pop it in, job done. out of the front and into the back. Now we're going to do the roof lights and the rear foot well lights. The slot a screwdriver behind the unit, pull the whole unit out. If you disconnect the cable it will make it a lot easier to work on. Okay now the unit is out. We're going to pop the little tabs with the screwdriver. Once the tabs are loose, you'll be able to pull out the light unit, which houses the bulbs, and then now it's just a case of swapping the lights over. Gently tease the bulb from the holder. Insert bulb into holder. Insert bulb into holder. Refit the unit, just to double check they work. Providing they both work, and you don't need to swap any bulbs around. Refit yeah. the casing. Now, time to move on to the roof lights. Put it down, mate. That's how easy the back one is. Ta da! The exact same as the front, get your three bulbs in there. One, two, three. Bang them in, bang it in the roof. Nice and easy. The boot and number plate lights are just the same. Pop your screwdriver in, pull down the unit, and you will be able to just change the bulb. Then make sure the bulb is in the right way around. Once all your lights have been sorted in place, it's time to go for a spin. Ideally, nighttime will best suit you. Look at that. The angel eyes look absolutely stunning now and really made it look more modern. We've got obviously the new puddle lights, the new footwell lights, and the new roof lights really make it look good. Standard. And the new one. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed the first episode. Check us out on Facebook and subscribe to us. Thanks guys.